welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the 2021 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. This one here has the V6 engine, great motor, 8-speed transmission, pretty much everything you'd need in a really cool, compact little sports utility. So let's take a look at this vehicle. So the 2021 Jeep Cherokee V6, about 271 horsepower. Uh, it's a great little motor. I mean, it's an intermediate size SUV. So it's kind of in between the Compass and the Grand Cherokee. So this one kind of hits the sweet spot as far as a useful, uh, easy to park, easy to handle, easy to drive SUV. So some of the features that make this a trail rated vehicle as far as, as, far as the trail haul goes are of course the front tow hooks. These are kind of cool in the bright red, so I guess you can see them anytime. There's also one in the back, two in the front. Uh, skid plates throughout the vehicle, all the way down basically has a couple of skid plates. Uh, like I said, these Destination AT tires by Firestone, great tire, relatively quiet on the road, uh, give you real good traction off-road when you need it. Uh, as far as ride clearance, it's adequate. One of the differences on the Trailhawk, of course, is also the front bumper, kind of it swoops in a little bit. A uh, regular Cherokee is going to have a little bit straighter down the uh, front bumper. So this one gives you a little bit better approach and departure angles when you're off-roading and things like that. Uh, all in all, I really like the look of this vehicle. This particular one doesn't have a sunroof, but it does have every other option. So let's take a closer look. So as I mentioned earlier, the Jeep Cherokee also has this tow hitch on the back. So if you get into a sticky situation, it kind of helps out as far as pulling you out of the mud, that kind of stuff. Uh, it does have the uh, departure angle, pretty good departure angle on the back. Uh, as far as the truck, uh, this one is a manual one. And I think that's the only way they come. So you can't get So let's look at some of the interior features on the uh, Jeep Cherokee. Uh, of course, like I keep saying, nice steering wheel, has your button controls as you'd expect for various things. Uh, phone controls, kind of infotainment controls, cruise control settings over here. Like I said, this one has the lane keep assist deal, which is, you know, some people like it. I don't know. It's, it's handy, I guess, you know, it just kind of nudges you back into the lanes as it sees the lanes going by. Um, of course, it has the... Uh, Auto headlights, this one has fog lights on as well. Your normal mirror controls over here. A uh, nice shifter, good size to it, like the feel of it. It does have a push button uh, parking brake system. Uh, this one here is your little knob where you can turn for your various uh, types of drive modes and all that kind of stuff and you just kind of rotate it around and it goes through various modes. It has rock crawling, um, uh, sport mode, snow modes, auto mode, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it does have your locking rear differential, uh, climb assist, hill assist, four wheel drive low as well, that kind of stuff. Uh, of course you have your climate control settings, very easy to use. Has a nice good size infotainment system. Uh, I mean it's pretty responsive as well, pretty fast. I like the colors on it. I think they did a good job on that. Uh, all your kind of heating controls, all that kind of stuff. Uh, like I said, your heated seats, heated steering wheel. Um, you have your various kind of uh, backup camera types deal. Uh, picture quality is not great. It's not a high def television, but pretty darn good. I mean, it's a, you know, gets the job done. Uh, up here, of course, you have another little container area. You can keep some stuff in, whatever you need to keep up here. And another section up here for your sunglasses. Uh, both of the uh, mirrors have the little vanity mirrors in them, which is kind of handy for people. Uh, as far as the uh, finishing quality, I mean, pretty good. You know, it's a Jeep. Uh, it's not going to be like a, uh, you know, like a Cadillac Escalade, but it's pretty darn nicely done, to tell you the truth. Um, I mean, I, I actually really enjoyed it as a, as a place to drive. Um, as far as your passenger room, good passenger room. Uh, I fit in here just fine. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the back. Oh, a couple of other things real quick, sorry. 12 volt auxiliary power supply. Uh, also your center console, pretty standard. Has another USB in there, coin holder. Two cup holders are down here as well. So you're doing pretty good as far as uh, auxiliary power supplies. There's two up here for the front, so not too shabby. So let's take a look in the back. So before we get to the back of the vehicle, let's look at the seating position for the driver. Uh, the driver's seat does have a power adjustable, uh, so it has all the stuff that you'd expect right here. Uh, steering wheel does have the telescoping and the tilt feature on it as well, which is nice. 
Uh, passenger seat is a manual seat, so you don't have that power feature. Uh, one of the things that I do wish they'd improve a little bit on, though, is just that height adjustment. So I can go all the way up, and I can go as high as I want, basically. But when I come back down again, uh, just a little bit more. I'd say maybe about two more inches of downward travel would be just ideal for like a big uh, six foot five, six foot six persons. There's not that many of this around, but the ones there are would appreciate it. But anyway, let's take a look at the back, like I said. Okay, so as far as back seat room, okay, well I fit, so uh, it's absolutely not as tight as I thought it was going to be, to tell you the truth. This is my driving position, uh, this is how it would be if my clone was behind me in my, uh, in my passenger seat behind me. Uh, not bad, I do have to put my legs on the side a little bit. Uh, headroom is real close. Luckily, this one isn't a uh, doesn't have the sunroof in it. I did test one that had a sunroof, and my head was hitting on the uh, on the upper section up here on the headroom there. So a uh, slight snag. Uh, as far as the seats go, like I said, these seats do have a little bit of adjustability back and forth as far as uh, reclining in the back. Um, you do have some heated vents back here, obviously. You have U two USB ports back here, and also a 12 volt power supply as well. Uh, it does have a center armrest with two cup holders as well. So I'm uh, not too shabby. So uh, pretty good. Like I said, I'm kind of surprised. I, I thought it was going to be a little bit tighter than it is, but uh, yeah, not bad at all. Part of the trunk space, pretty adequate. Another nice thing when you lift this up is actually a full size tire, which is actually really nice. Uh, as far as the seats go, they're kind of the 60 40 split. Just push the lever here and they fold down, like so. And you can bring them back. And they also have kind of a recline feature as well for the uh, passengers, they can kind of recline the seats just a little bit back. Okay, so here we are inside the 2021 Jeep Cherokee uh, Trailhawk, and that's a really nice place to be. Uh, leather interior, of course, leather wrapped steering wheel, heated. Uh, of course, you have everything you normally have power windows, power door locks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this one has the lane keep assist as well, which keeps you in the lane as you're traveling down the highway and the cruise control. It's a feature I'm kind of getting used to. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of it yet, uh, just because I feel like sometimes it tugs you a little bit to you know, bring you into lane. And I notice I'm in pretty much all the cars I've driven that have that lane keep assist. Um, but anyway, it's there. <coughs> if you like it, go ahead and use it. Uh, as far as power goes, 3.2 V6 uh, gets you where you need to go. I mean, it's not going to win any drag races or anything like that, but I mean, it's a it's a decent engine. It's actually a pretty good size for a vehicle in this segment, as far as this size vehicle. Um, of course, if you can see, I don't know if you can see the surroundings, but we're in beautiful Littleton, Colorado, of course, with the red rocks and stuff, so come on out and see us sometimes. And uh, as far as the suspension goes, it's a surprisingly nice ride in this vehicle. Uh, personally, I was kind of thinking that being a Jeep, it was going to ride like a Jeep, and my characteristic thinking of a Jeep is a bumpy, hard, off-road, you know, just beat you type of thing to death ride. But, uh, no, this one rides really nice. Uh, prior to driving this, I drove a couple of the competitors in the class, like the Nissan Rogue, the GMC Terrain, I guess you would uh, consider in the same kind of class. And um, I actually prefer the way this one rides. It's kind of taut, but comfortable. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a good riding vehicle. Um, as far as the steering wheel goes, it feels good. Um, it does have those uh, off-road type tires on this vehicle, so I think you get a little bit of a, I guess you call it almost a slush feeling almost, when you put the input in, it's a little bit slow to respond on the input, but then again, this isn't a race car, it's not a sports car, it's a, it's a sport utility vehicle to occasionally go off-road. So of course the whole off-roading thing, yeah, okay, I understand, you know, it's a Jeep and people think that they're going to go off-roading in their Jeeps, but really, eh, come on, you're probably going to spend about 99% of your time on a road, the 
1% is probably going to be a gravel road and some kind of 0.01% of the 1% maybe you'll take it off road where you have to lock the differential and even that I very much doubt it but hey it's there if you need it right. transporting a full NBA team, I think you'll be okay. As far as the seats feel, very comfortable actually. Uh, like I said, these seats are heated. Uh, they don't have the cooling in them, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, that's okay. You know, get your heated seats, it's nice in the winter time. Goes nicely with the heated steering wheel, that's for sure. So as far as interior space while well, you're in the Jeep Cherokee, uh, pretty comfortable. I mean, I'm a pretty big guy, I guess, and I feel really comfortably in it. I think my passengers would have more than enough room in it. Uh, seat isn't all the way back, so everything feels pretty good. Uh, do notice just a little bit of wind noise uh, when you get out on the highway with it, but uh, then again, this isn't exactly like an aerodynamics, you know, tour de force, so it is an SUV. Um, as far as the transmission shifts go, I mean, spot on. Can't make any complaints about that. Uh, it does have the eight-speed transmission, which seems to be the popular one everyone's kind of going to, and, uh, and it really, really shifts really well, to tell you the truth. Uh, like I said, with the uh, combination of the V6 with this V8 uh, gives you plenty of torque. Uh, you do have high range, low range as far as the transmission goes, all that kind of stuff. And um, has a downhill assist system as well. Uh, has a, kind of an uphill assist system as well. And of course, locking rear differential. So if you really do get in a pinch, you can hit that. 